Ahoy there makers, let's take a look at the Interstate 75. Let's enter the LED matrix with this all-in-one USB-C powered controller for Hub 75 panels. Interstate 75 is an RP2040 powered driver board for Hub 75 style LED matrices. It's designed to plug neatly into the back of the LED panel and provide a quick and easy access to whip up some scrolling signage or an eye-catching LED display for some sensor outputs. Interstate 75 is powered and programmable by USB-C. USB is capable of providing up to 3 amps of power which should be enough to power the 64 by 64 or smaller panels, assuming that you're not planning on anything too eye-bleedingly bright. If you need some more power then you can chain up some multiple panels together and you can inject additional power using the screw terminals on the back. There's also two useful buttons, a reset button and an onboard RGB LED. We popped a Quest connector on there as well to make it super easy to connect quick or STEM QT breakouts. So let's have a look at some of the features. So as we said before, it's powered by the Raspberry Pi RP20, which is a dual core Cortex M0 Plus running at 133 megahertz with 264K of RAM. Now this board also has two megs of onboard flash, which is plenty of space to store your programs, whether they're in MicroPython, CircuitPython or C++. It's capable of driving 32 by 32, 32 by 64 or 64 by 64 LED matrices. It's got sturdy screw terminals for powering the LED panels. It's got a USB-C connector which can power up to 3 amps and that's used for programming as well and it has the Quest Quick Stemma QT connector as well has the reset boot and user buttons and the boot button can also be used as a user programmable button too and it has an RGB LED on board and it's fully assembled there's no soldering required at all dimensions wise it's 48 and a half by 31 by 17 millimeters and that includes the connectors there's a schematic and there's some C++ and MicroPython libraries available too now the LED matrices and cables are sold separately so check out the product extras tab if you want to get some of those options. Software wise, so let's enter the matrix with this. We can, because it's an RP2040 board, the Interstate 75 is firmware agnostic. That means you can program in C, C++, and MicroPython or CircuitPython. Our C++ and MicroPython libraries contain some spiffy Hub75 drivers that use the RP2040's PIO, programmable IO state machine, and DMA to minimize CPU usage and maximize a luscious 10-bit gamma-corrected color depth. You'll get the best performance using C++, but if you're a beginner, we'd recommend using our batteries-included MicroPython build for ease of getting started. You can use CircuitPython on the Interstate 75. Because CircuitPython drivers are designed to work with a bunch of different microcontrollers, you won't get the fancy RP2040 architecture-specific tweaks that we've made in our library, but you do get access to Adafruit's ecosystem and their mighty Display I.O. library, which makes it much easier to display all kinds of different things, such as text, drawing shapes, and displaying images as well. Connecting breakouts. So if you have a breakout with a Quest connector on board, you can simply plug it straight into the JSTSH to JSTSH cable, or you can easily connect up our I2C breakout garden breakouts using a JST to JSTSH cable coupled with a Quest 2 breakout garden adapter. Bit of a mouthful. You can also find a list of which breakouts are currently available and compatible with our C++ MicroPython build in the most recent release notes, and you'll find that on the product page. We've also broken out a bunch of useful I2C pins, um, analog pins, debug pins, and on the side of the board you can solder things like breakouts or analog potentiometers directly to them. So about the 2040. So this is Raspberry Pi's flagship microcontroller board. So it's a dual core ARM Cortex M0 Plus running at 133 megahertz. Comes with a whopping 264k of RAM and it has all the standard peripherals, the I2C, the SPI, UART, pulse width modulation clocks and so on as well as USB support. Uh, one of the really exciting features of the RP2040 is the programmable IOs, the POs, which allow us to execute custom programs that can manipulate GPIOs and transfer data between peripherals. And that means that they can offload these tasks which require a higher data transfer speed and precise timing that traditionally require a lot of heavy lifting from the CPU. So really, really advanced features there. So let's have a quick look at some demo code. So over here, I've got um, the board, the panel here. If I just flip this over, you can see the Interstate 75 there. And I've currently just got this uh, plugged into one board. Now, if we had additional boards, we can use that connector there and a cable such as this to plug in additional boards and we just plug them side by side. It also comes with these nice magnetic screws. So you can attach that to a metal board. So I'm just gonna leave that there. And then I'm gonna go over to our joint view there where we can look at the, the, the overhead camera. Let's move that down a little bit. 
and we can also see the code that we're going to run. So I've got a couple of pieces of code here. So the one I'm currently running is simply called the clock. So if I just stop that and start it, there's quite a bit of stuff in here, but you can see it's essentially going to draw these different characters on screen, uh, pixels at a time, and it's gonna flash uh, nicely there. Now I've got another variant of that one, which is the wavy clock. So if I stop that code and run this one, get this nice sort of bouncing uh, clock effect going on. That looks quite nice. If I turn down the overhead light as well, we can see what that looks like. Let's move that there a little bit. And if I stop that, another one that we can actually run um, is a message, a scrolling bouncy message. So we've got Ahoy there makers on the screen and we can literally type in anything we want on here. Uh, if I just scroll to the section of text where it says text equals, and then you can just type in whatever you like there, such as hello world. And if we just rerun that, we'll now have hello world scrolling past as well. This is what I love about MicroPython and CircuitPython. You can make very quick changes to your code and run it instantaneously without having to compile. Okay, so if you like this and you want to see more kinds of videos about robotics, I have a channel over on YouTube. If you've got a youtube.com slash kevin 28 uh, and i did a recent video about rgb led strips as well that you might be interested on over there so thanks for watching this short introduction video to the interstate 75 so i hope you found that interesting and i shall see you all next time thanks for watching bye for now